So deep vein thrombosis is, is blood clots in veins. Now, when most people think of a blood clot, they think of a blood clot in an artery, like to the muscle of the heart that would cause a heart attack or to the brain that would cause a stroke. These blood clots are uh, not in arteries, they're in veins. Uh, they're in the inner or inside veins of the leg. They're quite large. They can be as big around as your thumb, and they can extend from below the knee all the way up to the groin. Um, blood in the veins, of course, is flowing back to the heart, and if one of these big clots dislodges, it flows with the blood returning to the heart, goes right through the middle of the heart, and the heart is pumping that blood to the lungs, and of course the lung arteries branch like a tree, and so eventually the clot is too big uh, to go through the lung blood vessels and hangs up, and that's a pulmonary embolism. A pulmonary embolism is very serious, and about 25% of patients, pulmonary embolism causes sudden death. So this is a major health problem. So we've been working now for about 20 years to understand why some patients develop deep vein thrombosis and others don't. And what we have discovered is that patients appear to inherit a predisposition to develop blood clots when exposed to certain risk factors. And this grant will allow us to search the entire genome and looking for changes that might predispose patients to developing blood clots. Previous Surgeon General call to actions include um, a call to action with regard to heart attacks and a call to action with regard to stroke. It has been relatively recently appreciated that blood clots in veins or deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism is about as common as stroke, um, a little less common than heart attack, Prior to this time, that was not understood. So we now realize that maybe as many as one million U.S. citizens develop a deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism every year. And of those, maybe one third die. So it's been this recent appreciation of how common a disease this is and how commonly it causes death that led the Surgeon General to issue this call to action. We also understand that there are certain exposures that put patients are at risk for developing the disease, such as major surgery, uh, major trauma, just being admitted to the hospital for an acute medical illness, uh, cancer among women, uh, birth control pills, uh, pregnancy, for example, pulmonary embolism is the most common cause of death for new mothers, hormone therapy during the menopause, all of these things put patients at risk. Um, we have the opportunity for patients that are hospitalized to give prophylaxis to prevent uh, this disease. If we universally gave all patients prophylaxis and it was universally effective, we could prevent possibly two-thirds of this disease. And I think that's the reason why the Surgeon General has issued this call to action, since it's such a major health problem and potentially preventable. Well, I think that uh, the, the major symptoms for a blood clot in the vein of a leg, a deep vein thrombosis, is pain and swelling of the leg. And so they should seek medical attention. Lots of things could cause pain and swelling in the leg, so one can't just assume that if you have those symptoms, you have a DVT. There are very sensitive and specific tests to image and make the diagnosis of a DVT that are painless, um, readily available. So if one has those symptoms, you should seek medical attention and have the appropriate testing to make the diagnosis and re receive the therapy.